Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool, and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Zinchenko, well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Plenty of support here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Kai Havertz starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Well, I think, Stuart, you have to feel for any defender charged with the task of keeping Mo Salah quiet. He can be fantastic to watch. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. But it's his ability to run in behind defence. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Andrew Robertson. Matip. So Bosloy. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Determined defending. Can he finish this? And the keeper diving to thwart him. Short corner it is. And it's Salah with the cross. Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. Well, let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. Kai Havertz. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. A disappointing end to the move. And the counter-attack is on, options available. So Bosloy. Martinelli, offside the decision. Gakpo. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. He has teammates around him. Gakpo takes the shot. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. 
They will now make use of the substitute's bench. It's a short one. Crossing into the middle. Danger averted for now. Arsenal could be on to something. But they took care of the situation defensively. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. out of play the pass nearly worked out but not quite and time for the change now Diogo Jota Thiago well, they win the throw following that challenge Alexis McAllister Wataru Endo in the right place to cut out the pass opportunity to go ahead oh commanding goalkeeping played over well not away properly well able to survive that attacking push now the quick counter attack could be on Zinchenko here's Havertz Havertz and it's in the back in front stunning scenes here well I have to say this is a really good goal he skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away excellent stuff from him dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider McAllister 10 minutes to go Wataru Endo Liverpool have given it away and he's broken free they've only gone and grabbed another one two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Alexander-Arnold. Mo Salah. Can he get one back? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. He's in behind. Can someone get on the end of this? Marvellous anticipation! So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal 